Next, remember that recovery requires that a secondary copy of your data exists. The entire purpose of our disaster recovery plan is to be able to bring our data center back up to support our business processes. If we've lost all or part of the data center, we probably have lost all or part of our primary copy of all of our data. So we have to have another copy somewhere. One way of creating extra copies or secondary copies are backups. So let's look at some issues covering backups and off-site storage. Before we continue into a discussion of backups, keep in mind this is only one and one of the most classic examples of secondary data copies. It's not the only way to achieve your goals. It's very possible to create real-time replication. In fact, you may have a hot site which uses real-time replication so that when the first site goes down, the secondary site already has a fully implemented copy of your data. There are fault-tolerant mechanisms. There are ways that we can log using near real-time logging that approximates replication. Lots of different things we can do to provide secondary copies aside from just regular backups. But most organizations rely on the backup as the backbone of their secondary copy. So that's why we'll focus on it.